Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by Ideas, where we learn and understand physics to understand the basic concepts of physics to crack interviews. So today I am going to discuss a very important concept of quantum mechanics which has already been asked in PhD interview in IIAC Bangalore. So the question is consider a double slit experiment of electrons. What happens if you close one slit? What happens if you decrease the beam intensity of the electron? So let's see what happens. So as we know about the double slit experiment pattern from the young double slit experiment that if we pass light uh, through two different slits, let's say S1 and S2, we will observe a diffraction pattern on the screen. So since let's say this, this is a visualization of a plane wave that is passing through the two different slits and they will interfere with each other and they are making a pattern. So the interference lead to the constructive and destructive interference and that can lead to the formation of the interference fringes and that can lead to the diffraction pattern on the screen. So this is very well known phenomena of wave. So of now what happened if we replace the wave and we place electrons which are particles and we pass the electrons let pass the electrons through the slits and what we will observe on the screen so that is the question so so let's see what will happen if we have instead of the beam of photons or beam of waves let's say we have beam of electrons so the electrons are passing through the two slits A and B and according to the particle nature according to the classical mechanics the electrons passing through the slit A will give a spot uh, on the screen and electrons passing through slit B will give another spot on the screen right now what is it really the same thing that it, it is the true no actually not we will not see the two spots on the screen instead we will see a diffraction pattern just like the uh, just like the similar pattern that we observe for a wave so on the screen so therefore it's giving us some experimental evidence that the electrons are not particles they are something way like behaving like waves which are interfering with each other and give us the diffraction pattern on the screen and now the other question what will happen if you close this one slit let's say B and if we let pass the elect beam of electrons on the other slit A and according to the classical mechanics we will only observe one spot corresponding to the slit A once the electrons are passing through it and they are all particles but interestingly we will also observe diffraction pattern when one slit is closed and it is truly quantum mechanical that each of the electrons behaving like waves and they are going through passing through slit A they are interfering with each other and they are instead of giving one spot they are giving a diffraction pattern on the screen and which is truly quantum mechanical phenomena that cannot be explained through classical mechanics and another question was asked that if you decrease the beam intensity what will happen so friends you will be really amazed that even if we decrease the intensity of the electrons such a limit that only one electron is passed through the slit till now over the observation of a sufficient time we will see a diffraction pattern on this on the pattern on the screen and this is amazingly truly quantum mechanical nature even with a one electron for passing through a single slit it is giving us diffraction pattern over the time so that cannot be explained in classical mechanics and that gives us the true nature of quantum and light particle duality which is very important in quantum mechanics so now another experiment where we see this beam of laser is passing through a mag beam of photon is passing through a max zender experimental setup so max zender the overview of the max zender experimental interferometer setup is that we have uh, one a beam splitter the light is passing through the beam splitter we have a detector we have a mirror and there is a beam splitter so the 50% if it is a 50-50 beam splitter so 50% of the light will be splitted 
will be gone through the will be passed through it will transmit through it and 50% of the beam light beam will be reflected through it so and there is another mirror and there is another beam splitter this beam splitter will also if it is a 50 50 beam splitter so it will pass 50% of the photon and it will reflect 50% of the photon so these are the detectors and interestingly what we see over the time if there is a single single photon if we have a single photon laser source over the time with a single photon we can detect or we can have we have that evidence that the detect both the detector here and here they get response of a photon at the same time which is truly quantum mechanical that both the detector you are getting a response over simultaneously over a single photon so this is something which is like uh, which is related to the quantum mechanical phenomena that cannot be explained with the wave so they are interfering like a wave and they are detected like a particle so it's totally quantum mechanical phenomena so friends i would like to tell you that we are uh, right now conducting interview guidance program which is very important for prepare uh, preparation of your PhD, integrated PhD, MSc, MTech uh, and uh, PhD job interview, uh, other job interview related to physics and these mock, mock interviews are designed to boost up your confidence in the interview. We will discuss mostly important problems with you and also we will guide you how to prepare each and every topic so that you will be confident on your real interview. So you can go to this site, uh, visit our website to check more on the video that is given on the link of description of the our video and so friends i hope you like this video and please do like share and subscribe to give the uh, uh, concepts of physics to and share this video to help every needy student thank you so much for your time and watching this video